before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I will show up directly. Alright guys, so if you are new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. The moment I am here in Castle, Hobbanov. Not Castle, Hobbanov. This is uh, Wilhelmshohe Castle. From here, I am taking a train to go to Paderborn. Sorry, Paderborn, Hobbanov. Alright guys, welcome back once again. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. I have reached finally here in Padavan Hobbanov. स्टेशन and uh, yeah my bachelor's was from chennai srm and yeah so how much did you score in your bachelor's so my bachelor's grade was not too high it was like 7.5 something uh, at the end although later on before coming here i improved my profile via some projects gre and toefl so how many campuses are there for uh, university of parabon so at the uni parabon we have two main campuses the first one is uh, where the main campus where the hostel lies and all the main buildings lie and the second one is called the Heinz Nixdorf Institute uh, which is mainly a research place for all the computer science and informatic related guys when you come out of the uh, uh, the barn on the on the left on the left hand, left hand side is the route for HNI Heinz Nixdorf Institute and this side we have the university i see okay let's go to come to parabon yeah. what was your flight route how did you come here Uh, so my route was through Mumbai. Uh, see, okay. From Mumbai or any other major airport in India, you can book a flight for Düsseldorf. That would be best. Okay. And uh, from Düsseldorf airport, then you can directly uh, check out the Düsseldorf airport train station, which is the Düsseldorf airport Bahnhof, as we say. Uh -huh. And uh, from Düsseldorf airport Bahnhof, uh, directly you can come to Paderborn Hof Bahnhof. I see. So there is an ICE. Yeah, there is an. Uh, uh, no, as it is uh, in the NRW itself, so even the local train would do. So we just came out of that main gate of uh, station, right? Yeah. Uh, from here, how does one go to the main uh, main campus? Yeah. As soon as you come out, you just take a right turn, and you reach the bus station, which you can see over here, right? Yeah. And, right here. Uh, yeah, right there, and you have the bus numbers visible on the digital board, and to go to the university. and all the buses to the university go via the city center through the oh, city center okay. and the numbers are number 4 number 9 and number 68 to okay. uni padamon main campus we are just heading towards where you are supposed to get your city registration done and uh, where you are supposed to get your visa extension done it's just going to take you like 5 to 7 minutes walk um, from the main station we'll quickly show you once we reach there how's life here for students man life here for students i think is really nice because this is comparatively a smaller town so there is not that much hustle bustle and as a student the kind of peace you require while studying so that you get in padamon sure, i don't want to take you home with me Whoa. are we approaching the city center yeah 
सो इट इज वन स्वीट क्रॉस इज सिग्नल और वो जो वहाँ पे हाँ हाँ वो जैसे वो अंदर ओके आई वी गोइंग थ्रू दैट रूट और नो लेट्स गो देर इफ यू लाइक टू या फिर डायरेक्ट यूनी चलना है तो पहले यूनी चलते हैं तो यूनी बट पहले राठ हाउस दिखा देते हैं ना हाँ रात हाउस अंदर जाके उधर हाँ तो पहले वो दिखा देते हैं फिर वहीं से बाहर आना पड़ेगा नहीं वहाँ से यूनी के बस मिल जाए परफेक्ट है वहीं से चलते हैं I personally use Aldi Talk and uh, it is available at the Aldi supermarkets and the recharge you can do over there as well via coupons. What insurance uh, do you have? Insurance is TK, the TK, okay. general one. Some students do have Mavista and all, which is like uh, private, private and less prices. Yeah. But all consider all things considered, TK with its uh, safety and coverage. at least for the new incoming students i would suggest tk so this building with the flags on it as you can see mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, city registration building so once you have your accommodation you have yeah. a house contract yeah you take the house contract go here you come here with the house contract for the city okay. registration exactly okay how what is the fastest way to get here uh, the fastest way would be uh, from university you can again take uh, the same bus numbers 4 or 9 and instead of getting down Uh, till Hobbon off, you can get down at Rath House itself, in between, which is the city centre bus stop, and then just it's walking distance to this office. Where is the entrance? This is this entrance? Yeah, this is entrance. Oh, okay, this is entrance. This is a building. the main entrance yeah this is the main entrance of the university as you can see that uh, this is where the title is title lies as well and just as you enter on the left you find the i building i'm not sure if you can see that i over there right there so that i building red and gray one that is where our international office is and that will be your first point of contact as soon as, soon as you reach the university submit all your documents get your matriculation certificate which will be required for everything else from account opening to other things meanwhile i have uh, another friend of mine she is going to she is also joining us for the campus tour she is currently studying masters in computer science here. <laughs> right yeah go ahead and introduce please so hi uh, i did my bachelor's in computer science from nagpur university and now i am doing my masters in computer science i joined last semester which is corona so i haven't seen university that much just a little bit but i think that's enough so she is she is as good as me no, <laughs> taking a campus really. tour but no no I'm joking <laughs> she spent here a good 6 months now so this is our i building and this is where the international office lies and this is the place where the initial enrollment submitting of documents your id card matriculation certificate everything happens over here What is your cost of living so far? If you can give us an impression. So accommodation. Accommodation is like two hundred ish. Food. Uh, rent. Food is like one fifty to two hundred. Insurance. If insurance is hundred euros. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Miscellaneous cost. Miscellaneous is fifty. I think one fifty yeah. is more than enough for food and everything. So conclude this. How yeah. Much? It's like five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred. <laughs> okay. Is it the same with US? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hundred. I, I would agree with five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Only thing we are not paying two hundred. We are paying two seventy five. For the for the dog, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm paying two seventy five, but maybe my miscellaneous costs are less, so five hundred. I see. One of the key problem, uh, what I am noticing here is students are facing a hard time the, to get accommodation right uh, as soon as they start here. So that's why they settle down for something which is temporary. Meanwhile, the uh, you know the waiting list is on in the student in work, uh, and that's where. 
he is staying uh, even i mean like you said you said you had to wait for one year right yeah. to get a student dormitory yeah when i came in so uh, my dorm application was waiting so i stayed outside uh, near the city center uh, there is a place and i stayed there with my friend for one year and after that i already got my application accepted so i moved in to the dorm conversation i got to know that there is already a dormitory which mm. is on campus mm -hmm. here can you just tell us a bit about that yeah so the dorms which are already on our campus are two mainly uh, one is the peter hill wing which is over there right on our left and the other one is fogelis wing which is on the right over there near the sports complex mm. auditorium as soon as you come from the bus stop bus stop is where is where's the bus stop the nearest yeah. one somewhere there yeah. that's where we got off and what is the bus number which will get you here i know so we've said this in the beginning yeah yeah it's 68 as she said uh, 4 and 9 58 68 dispute 58. here 68 is uh, the other end of the university we have a mediator okay <laughs> 68 is the other end of the university and 4 okay. and 9 4 and 9 come here yeah. 58 also comes here which is the face of the university this side the auditorium side or the auditorium the auditorium where we that which is, is auditorium is right here man yeah yeah where we came from huh? the title that, oh yeah. that is the face okay. that is like an official face but students usually roam around here it's right. like that this street this goes yeah, into the campus yeah. building I see, I see. classes so you take what number 4 uh, 9 for this bus stop yeah. and 68 for that other bus stop got it either of the ways will lead you to the main campus yeah okay and you guys don't have any other campus than this we do have uh, the hni H N I. That yeah. is mainly only for C S guys. C S right? and uh, C electrical. I see. Okay. So I asked him this in the morning. How he got here? to padabon what was your route hmm. so i took my flight from delhi to amsterdam amsterdam to frankfurt from frankfurt uh, there's like 1 km dur the bus stop flix bus bus stop and then i reached there with my luggage it was quite a journey and from there uh, i took the flix bus which directly came to padabon uh, martin platz martin platz right yeah martin platz i got down there and then i took my bus to my home what about you i took uh, a bangalore to frankfurt flight then got down at frankfurt came by a uh, train to paderborn and by bus i came here uh, to the uni sudring bus stop and i stayed in temporary accommodation so uh, we kept walking and this is where you get uh, stw office hey is this a place where you come to uh, to ask for accommodation yeah so for example if you don't get any dorms or something and then you have to come here and fight for dorms you come here Okay was that your same experience uh, did you fight or no i i did not <laughs> really? oh well. my god i was so just i i basically accepted that it would take at least 6 months so for the time being i already had another place okay. i stayed there calmly for <laughs> one year <laughs> so you, you didn't fight okay you like a bitch oh my god for for one year and then very easily they gave me my acceptance without <laughs> <laughs> without fighting okay without any protest because i followed the rules and then i got my dorm that was it what is that why building you said 
So that Y building is for robotics essentially, and the department of uh, mechanical engineering, electrical, and so whenever they have to do an interdisciplinary project, so that is uh, where it happens. Mm -hmm. And the one behind us uh, right now, which you uh, might see that it's still under construction, that is the building X, where uh, the Noctua supercomputing cluster is coming up. Uh, which is, I think, a world record, a uh, biggest supercomputing cluster coming up in Panama. Guys, this is our G building right here, and uh, the Indian night, which yeah, the Indian night, which we also call the Diwali night, which is the main function for the entire Indian family over here. So that takes place in this building. G, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's a building for classrooms. Yeah. Otherwise, there are classrooms, presentations. So the optoelectronics and photonics building, which you just saw. So it is uh, basically the place where uh, quantum photonics takes place and the significance is that um, a very famous professor from our university, Professor Silberhorn, uh, she, uh, who is, uh, she is also a Leibniz award winner, which by the way is the highest prize money in the entire world, even more than Nobel Prize, uh, as you might search. So she sits over there and leads the research group for photonics.